the Thailand-Peru FTA has opened a door to deeper economic collaborations between the two regions. And Thailand has also started its negotiations with Chile on a bilateral free trade pact, meaning that this will stimulate growth, more knowledge and business of Thailand with the other part of the world. Well, we are, we are almost uh, ready. It's, it's, uh, we have had already 11 uh, rounds of negotiation. Um, we are very happy with the, with the process. We hope that we will finish uh, very soon, uh, hopefully by the end of the year. Uh, because, uh, like I said before, we, we have a, a long-standing relation, a long-standing friendship. And today, the, the challenge is to have this comprehensive approach that covers all the areas, all the possibilities, and, of course, looking towards the future. So once it's implemented, what are the benefits? The benefits is that uh, we have already signed a, a protocol regarding uh, uh, the, the trade, and thanks to this protocol, we have seen this increase of 33% of the, of the trade. So the, the moment you have uh, the, the legal uh, framework, then it's up to the business people to profit from them. Mm -hmm. We have had extremely good experiences. Peru has uh, uh, almost uh, 14 free trade agreements. Nearly 98% of our trade is done within the framework of these uh, free trade agreements with different countries. And for us, it has been a very good experience. Of course, uh, that has also allowed us to take care of problems and also to concerns about um, an environment and, and labor and other kind of issues, which are also very important to be addressed. I think Peru has many things to offer. First, I would say that it's a country that is open to the world. The people are very friendly. Allow me to be uh, so with some lack of modest in the sense that, but you asked me and I have to tell you, uh, we are a friendly people. We are uh, giving to the world the possibility of sharing with us uh, development, growth, and we are a country with a lot of natural resources. Yeah. Uh, we are a mega diverse country. And in that sense, you can start looking at the similarities. Uh, we can share and we have to share with other countries like Thailand, for example, the concerns about the environment, the concerns about the the natural resources and like I said it's not just about selling or buying things it's about sharing a friendship and uh, in that sense uh, what Peru has to offer first of all is friendship is the possibility of doing good businesses but most of all a good friendship according to the data based in 2011 through increased economic cooperation Thailand's exports to Latin America are projected to top 20 billion U.S. dollars within three years, which is actually a big jump from the estimated 7 billion U.S. dollars back in 2010. This is largely due to Thailand's push for closer business ties with Latin America, following significant progress by Thailand itself in forging various trading pacts over the past decade. Both Latin America and Asia are on a track of greater progress and prosperity, which heightens Thailand's role as a vibrant business hub in ASEAN. Well, we are, we are looking for the possibility of uh, a more comprehensive uh, uh, export from Thailand. And that's also one of the reasons why we, we are negotiating this free trade agreement. And also we're looking into the possibility of uh, uh, becoming hubs uh, Peru is very interested uh, in, 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 in becoming a hub for Thailand in South America and also... Is it for labor, becoming a hub for labor? Or no, no, hub it's, for it's like a, how can I say, it? To, to become like a, like a principal center, like a, the, the principal destination from which afterwards you can look to other, other South American countries. Latin America. Yes. Because also on the political level, we have uh, uh, such a good level of understanding and, 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 and dialogue that we have uh, uh, decided to, to have like an, a, a very strong association. And, and this uh, strategic association means that we have to, to keep on working so that we can really be the main partner, of course, 
And that's also what we are looking forward. Like I said, it's not just about uh, product. According to the former Thai Prime Minister opposite Wei Cha Shiwa, Latin America and Asia would become the main drivers for economic growth replacing the United States and Europe. As in 2010, figures from the International Monetary Fund projecting 5.7% growth for Latin America and 7.9% for Asia as the two regions emerge strongly from the global downturn. Once we have uh, implemented the, the, the FDA, um, things are going to be even more easy. Uh, things are going to be uh, looking with this vision the, the business community will start uh, having the possibility of planning the long-term investments, the long-term planning that uh, is needed to, to, to have a fundamental growth, no? Mm -hmm. What about the um, natural disasters? How, how did you, um, how do you have plan or anything to encounter with the natural disasters? Because I believe that would affect economic Absolutely, and, and, and you know, Peru is also part of this uh, Pacific Ring in which we are involved in, in earthquakes, earthquakes. And, and, and all these natural disasters that are, unfortunately periodically affect uh, my country as it affects other Asian countries. And in that sense, we have developed some skills, some uh, techniques, some uh, abilities also that we're sharing to the countries because what we are doing is we're trying to uh, we're promoting uh, this specific agreement, which is uh, management in, cri in, in, in case of uh, crisis, in case of natural disasters. We feel very strongly that this cannot be a one country approach. We have to work together. Mm -hmm. That's also why we, we promote this, uh, the, the, the signature of this kind of agreements, to share experiences and to share the, the knowledge that, that, are, that is needed. That's also linked with this emphasis that I make on the protection and uh, promoting the environment. We have to be aware that uh, today the humankind is really acting in a very destructive way. We have to be very responsible. So in, in the sense that we cannot uh, prevent, unfortunately, the, the, the natural disasters. Yes. But we have to do what is necessary to try to mitigate and try to reduce these events. The, the backup plans, I, I would say, uh, is uh, we have two backup plans. First of all, we have this approach towards the international community. Internally, we have, uh, naturally, we have uh, the, 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 la, what we call the, the civil service uh, action plan to, to, to act upon. But on a third one, we have a financial backup mm -hmm. resources in order to, to to deal with this problem whenever they, they, it happens, we have a... What about the import and export section? Well, uh, of course, uh, they, it's uh, one of the main consequences, but we're talking then an, about a, an extremely big disaster. <laughs> but uh, yes, I think we, we are somehow prepared. But of course, when it comes to nature, uh, nature gives the last word. And that wraps up today's edition of Towards 2015. You can watch us again every weekdays from 3.30 to 4 p.m. on the Nation Channel. Thank you for watching us. Sawadee ka. Sawadee